हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज सलमान एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय चैनल सेलेक्टर टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ वीम बैकअप एंड रेप्लीकेशन व्हिच इज कॉल्ड वीम बैकअप वीम प्रॉक्सी सर्वर सो द एजेंडा ऑफ टुडेस वीडियो इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग द बैकअप प्रॉक्सी सर्वर डिफरेंशिएट बैकअप प्रॉक्सी ट्रांसपोर्ट मोड डिटरमाइन द ट्रांसपोर्ट मोड एंड प्रॉक्सी सर्वर पोजीशनिंग कॉन्फिगर अ बैकअप प्रॉक्सी configure network traffic tool and preferred network under starting gas iteration proxy so basically what is uh, backup proxy server the simple answer is the backup uh, proxy server is the server which is responsible for uh, for moving the data from our source machine to our uh, destination machine uh, because the machine which we want to take the backup is the source machine and our repository is the our target machine so the mac the mechanism which control this uh, traffic is called the veeam proxy server so let's uh, let's have a look on in detail so backup proxy as you can see uh, backup proxy are position between the infrastructure and backup server so as a backup server administrator task proxy process the job and deliver the backup traffic basically the traffic handling is uh, done by the uh, proxy server backup server can be a backup proxy server uh, because in uh, in small installation when you install a first uh, backup server in your environment the backup server also perform the role of backup proxy server basically this is the role of normal backup server but in large environment you have to uh, configure a separate backup proxy server otherwise your uh, Uh, backup jobs get uh, very slow down and takes uh, 24 to 36 hours for completing so that's why we always create a additional uh, backup server backup proxy server to to save our times so our all the jobs are completed within the our specific time so the backup proxy responsibilities include retrieving the vm data, uh, vm metadata compressing deduplicating and encrypting backup data prior to prior to transfer the uh, transferring the data basically this is the uh, core responsibility of the proxy server to retrieve the data to compress the data to encrypt the data before transferring from the source machine to the target machine the primary role, role of the backup proxy is optimize the efficiency of the data uh, backup data transfer basically the basic and the core uh, core responsibility of the the uh, proxy server is to optimize the efficiency of backup tra data transfer design decision are necessary to determine the which transport mechanism server serves this purpose so basically there are three uh, type of uh, transfer mode basically what is the transfer mode the transfer mode determine the how the backup uh, proxy server is react act the first method is called direct storage access the other one is called virtual appliance and the last one is called network mode a uh, block device so if i if i i want to go to the veeam backup site and uh, write down the phrase veeam backup and replication transport and if i will open this link as you can see a transport mode is method that is used by the veeam data mover to retrieve vm data from the source and write vm data to the target job efficiency and time required for the job completion greatly depend upon the transport mode so basically the transport mode is responsible for the efficiency of our uh, backup jobs because if we select the proper uh, uh, transport method that means we can uh, we can decrease our time so in this way we can easily uh, uh, configure our backups so there are three types of uh, transport mode what is called direct storage access other one is called uh, virtual appliances and third one is called network uh stories so uh, i will show you one by one what what are these uh, transport modes so as you can see this is the direct storage mode this mode is strongly recommended that direct storage access proxies are physical machine if we select this mode we always choose the physical machine we don't use the virtual machine because what uh, what this uh, mode is done it it uh, basically in the physical machine is directly connected to the storage like san or some other types of uh, storage area network where we can access the machine directly from the storage 
so it is the fastest method for among all, all these method so it is directly access uh, direct storage access the proxy must have direct access via hba card hba basically house bus adapter card which is used with the fiber optic card the storage volume must be exposed to the proxy server as i told you the proxy server also see the volumes of the uh, uh, your machines vms and volume must be visible but not be initialized by by the proxy server os so basically the main point is that okay, the in direct mode we use the physical server and this physical server directly attached to the, the storage where we can save our virtual machines the second method is uh, virtual appliance we all I, i am also using this method in my environment because in this method we use the virtual machines and uh, with the help of virtual machine we can uh, perform the function of the being proxy servers this is the less efficient than the direct storage access but more efficient than the network mode recommended when the backup proxy server is virtual machine this is the more important point when you use the virtual machine you always use the transport mode as a virtual appliance uses vm is the you hard add uh, add to attach vm virtual disk to the proxy server uh, vm basically what uh, this method does it will attach your uh, virtual machines hard drive with the uh, backups uh, proxy server so in this way they can transfer the data in uh, within the data store so they don't travel to the network and they bypass the uh, network congestion so it is uh, much faster than the network load vm data is written or retrieved directly to or from the data store bypassing the network so in this in this method we also bypassing the networks now third method is called le uh, least efficient due to the network data transfer this is basically this uh, method is used uh, the networking so it is very slow as compared to other other two one uh the minimum requirement is yeah minimum recommendation is 110 gbps networking can be used with any infrastructure configuration this method can be used in any infrastructure useful as a fallback when other options are transiently unavailable basically we always use this uh, uh, network block device method in case of in case of as a, as a failure so we this is the uh, fail over uh, method we always use if our one uh, method is fail on then the our final method will be will network block devices so now i will show you where are these option in present in beam and backup so i will launch my console so as you can see if you go to the network infrastructure on the top there is an option which is called beam proxies as you can see now i have already created a beam proxy and the ip address is 192.168.11.132 now i will show you the configuration of this vim proxy server by right clicking and select on the properties so as you can see the transport is virtual appliance so i will will uh, click on the choose button so there are three uh, transport method are available direct access mode virtual appliance and network as you can see i am selected the virtual appliances mode because i am using the virtual machine and at the bottom you have a we have an option fail over the network mode if the primary mode fail or in is unusable basically uh, we if this mode is uh, fail uh, does not work then the final uh, method will be fail over the network mode it will transfer to the network mode if the primary mode will be fail i click over okay and now there is an option connected to the data store so always select the manual selection and choose the those data store which have the largest number of your vms so as i know i have uh, uh, 70% of my vms are reside on this data store so i will select this data store so it will enhance my uh, backup time and performance so i click okay and again i click okay and i click next and i click finish so this is the uh, this is the setting uh, related to the uh, this is the setting related to the uh beam backup and recovery uh, so i will show you how to create uh, this type of uh, backup so for this demo i will create a machine on my uh, virtual environment so i will show you so this is my esxi server as you can see
so i created a machine which is called the proxy server so this is the simple uh, windows 10 machine as you can see the configuration is 4 cpu and 4 gb ram you should create a machine at least having a 4 cpu or 16 gb ram in your production environment because it, this process is very is resource hungry so always give the maximum uh, resources uh, which you have in your environment so this is the machine i will use as a backup proxy as a proxy server so the ip address of this machine is 192.168.1.11.36 uh, so for creating any new uh, new proxy server click on the proxy server and there is an option on, on the top which is called add proxy so click on this and never select the first option which is uh, used for uh, adding a physical proxy server but in my case i am adding a virtual machine so i will select the second option which is backup backup proxy so i click on that and here you can click on the add new and uh, this windows machine and give the ip address of your machine as uh, now as i i am already uh, added this ip address in my uh, uh, veeam console so i will not uh, add this ip because it will generate an error so i in as you can see if i click the click on the drop, drop down menu there is an option of my server which is 192.168.11.136 so i select this one and the transport mode i will choose select the transport mode and and change the option from automatic selection to virtual appliance and click okay also i will choose the i will choose the data store to manual and so select my those data store which have my higher number of vms and click okay i and again i click on the next so there is an there is a managed network traffic rule by default this tool rule is not working in a lan environment but if you are backing your data uh, data center backup to the cloud so for this reason you can configure this rule so uh, if i click on this the, the, there is a uh, rule which is called internet if i select this and edit this so you can see this is called internet and uh, this is the ip address of our source machine and this is the ip address of our target machine which which in my case is internet i also encrypt or decrypt the data during the transfer of uh, this type of transfer also there is an option for throttling network traffic basically what it does it will uh, uh, it will uh, throttle down my network uh, bandwidth for a specific mbps for example if i want to transfer uh, at the speed of 5 mbps i will select this one and by default it is selected all the time but you can uh, drill uh, uh, on on off uh, during the your peak hours so i will select this option and disable this one so in this way you don't uh, use this type of replication or backup during the your working time so by default this option is off so i will not select this one and i and use the multiple upload stream as per pipe job which is by default so i will always go with this and click next and then i will click on the apply button now it will uh, start the processing or adding of services in my veeam infrastructure for so saving time i will pause the video and uh, resume back when this uh, process will be finished so as you can see now veeam back server uh, server was created successfully so i click on the finish button now the final task is uh, that we can assign this proxy server in our backups whenever you create any new backup you can assign the new backup uh, uh, with this uh, with this proxy server now i will show you my ex uh, some old existing backup how to change the proxy server from 134 to 136 for this i will go to the home and this is the job i will create it early on so i will right click on and edit my job so as i edit this job i click on the virtual machine and storage now on the storage you can uh, see here there is an option which is called backup proxy and here you can see this is my old backup proxy which is 192.168.11.134 now i will switch this proxy to my new proxy server so i will choose down this and under the, uh, and uncheck this mark from the old proxy and check this mark on the new proxy and click okay and then click next and click next and apply and finish 
so now this backup job uses my new proxy servers so always uh, in your production environment uh, for in my case i i am using the five uh, proxy server in my production environment uh, for which uh, one proxy server is used for databases because databases are very important and very huge in size and i am using the one uh, proxy server for my ads and one for my exchange server and one for my file server and one for my application server so in this way you can uh, uh, decrease the do uh, load of workload of your veeam proxy servers so in so if you like this video then please uh, uh, if you uh, like this video then please subscribe my channel and like this video and always uh, always let the some comments on whether it is good whether uh, what i am what i am teaching how i i am teaching you you understand things or not or uh, whether you understand 100% 10% or what so always give me some feedbacks so i will be improve my video quality so thank you very much for this video and i will be come uh, come again with a new video on lean and backup and recovery again thank you very much